Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Welcome to another one of the um, 2022 Project Orchids, the final look. Uh, this is plant number five. Same format as usual, nearly. <laughs> but we will be getting the clips out from March, May, July and September and I will be filming the plant as it is today. The only difference really is I'm not in it. There's a good reason for that, and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, so, let's get going with plant number five. And the next one in this group is one of my larger um, Miltonias. Now the, um, the tag on this just says Miltonia Hybrid because I took it into the Bournemouth Orchid Society and the name that I call it I wouldn't be able to use if it's going to be judged. Um, effectively this is a hybrid <coughs> based on a high percentage of Miltonia Moreliana but it's not the species. It's very close but it's not the actual species. So I'm quite happy to call it Miltonia Moreliana with hybrid in brackets. Um, which is not the correct way to write an orchid name, but that's what I'm doing for this one to remind me that what it's based on even though it's not the pure species. Now what we've got here is a plant that won't need repotting this year. Um, it, it was done last year and it has room to grow just, but how it's deciding to grow it really is only just. So what we've got here is some um, existing bulbs um, I don't think there's a bulb on here that's lost all its leaves yet, although during the summer months we may lose some more leaves. There are some older bulbs starting to show the yellowing of the leaves. They will drop eventually. Um, it's funny on Miltonias, they have a strange habit of the bracked leaves, as I call them. That's this pair down here. They're the two that uh, hide the spikes when they come out from the base but we always get the two leaves on the top as well and it's strange that these two leaves always go first followed by these <laughs> uh, anyway so what we've got here starting just left of the tag this is last year's bulb that bloomed yeah dead spike in there and that has two new growths so from that bulb we're going to double the amount of growth and then coming round here Again, this was a last year's growth, and I suspect it bloomed. Yes, it did. This has three new growths. Small one here, this one putting on, this was the first new growth to start, and another one here. So that one's going to have three. So five so far. And come round here to the next one. That bloomed, I believe. Yes. And this has two. So we're now up to seven. Yeah, and then coming round to here, got another new growth here, and we have two on there. That takes us up to nine. Is that the lot that bloomed as well? Yeah. So we have nine new growths on here. Now potentially they can all bloom, and they will all bloom at similar times. Obviously, <coughs> new growths that are this big, compared with ones that are this big, are going to have a gap. So this one will bloom first, and if this one is going to bloom, it's going to bloom after that one. So it could be that the first flush of blooms are fading before the last flush actually form. But if I got nine spikes on that, I'll do a happy dance. You're not going to see it, don't ask. <laughs> but it would warrant one, because the blooms on here are pretty stunning. Quite a few per spike. And I think nine spikes would be, well, a showstopper, quite honestly, despite the fact that it's not a true species. If it was the true species, I'd probably have less blooms on the spikes and the blooms wouldn't be quite as big. <laughs> so we'll run with the fact that it's got something else in with it, unknown. We don't know what it is. So all of those new growths have got room to get their roots down into the current pot into the current media. They're not going to go over the edge. You can see the new roots starting there. So the new roots start when the growths are whatever that is, about 15 centimetres long um, ish. Um, it will vary. Um, and they have all got room to go in that pot down the side. 
yeah so they won't overlap so it's, I'm quite happy to leave it in its um, pot for this year and um, I think the progress on this is going to be pretty good we will lose some leaves we will get new growth progressing I do have a little worry which we will monitor there's some paleness on that leaf it's not central it's not on the tip it's random on that growth not on that one not on that one so it's on that growth um, I'll keep my eye on it we'll monitor it see if it occurs on any of the other new growths as the leaves start to spread um, but we'll see so I've got high hopes for this um, it's a strong growing plant and um, we should get a good blooming on this one but that'll be much later in the season not yet right so that's plant number two Okay, the expectation on the um, Miltonia Moreliana type hybrid. Um, when we last looked at this, we had new growths, some progressing reasonably well and some just starting, and signs of some older leaves sort of yellowing, probably expecting them to drop off during the summer months. So what, what have we actually got then? Well, what we've got is new, grew, new growth progressing quite well. If you think that one was tiny, um, this one's starting to get to maturity. No bulb yet, but it's getting up to the right height. It's three on a single growth there. Um, round here, these are pushing on quite nicely. They're, they're all progressing nicely. Um, this is the point where on an Oncidium type, which Miltonias are, they're in the Alliance, these become drinkers when they're growing heavily like this and could do with a reasonable bit of feed, but not all at once. What they don't like is a really, really strong feed and then three flushes. What they'd rather have is three weak feeds and then a flush, or weaker feeds anyway, but they, they, they need some feed to push these growths on. Um, so they're all growing on nicely. I'm still expecting a good blooming on this and um, I'm still expecting more of the older leaves to yellow and drop. We now do have some leafless bulbs. Yeah, some have actually fallen and been uh, all been helped off. <laughs> You're going to fall off, aren't you? I've made my mind up. Okay, so that's the that's the Miltonia. It's doing well. You know, I mean, new growth's looking like this. So it, it's, do, it's, it's doing well. That's that one. Okay, so the um, the progress on the Miltonia is as expected. So nothing unusual here. More of the older leaves are yellowing all the time. That that's fine. That that's that's a progress that I would have expected from it. And in addition to that, I said we should get some blooms on some of these new growths. Well, not sure about that one. That one's got a, um, we start with this uh, double one here by the label. That one's got a, a spike on it. This one's got its spike coming, so that's just started. Uh, this one here is progressing. That was the most advanced growth last time round. That's actually formed its bulb and its spike is progressing nicely. The other new growth next to it is smaller. That doesn't seem to have a spike yet. This one round here has got a spike. This one here has got a spike. This one here has got... I'm not going to call that a spike. <laughs> I don't think that's going to actually progress. <laughs> Um, and then this one here has got a spike. So uh, it, it's done what was expected of it. Um, a few of the new growths haven't got their spikes, but I'm going to say yet. Yeah, because if, if you look at the um, progression of the spikes, this is the most advanced new growth and the spikes up here. This is the next most advanced new growth and the spikes here. Yeah. And then the other new growths are not as far advanced and the spikes are still tucked in the leaves. So the fact that there's a couple of new growths, actually that has got its spike starting, um, seem to not necessarily have their spike. I think overall we're going to get one new growth without a spike because if that is its attempt at a spike, it's distorted and it's in the wrong place. 
it's actually on the outside of the leaf instead of coming up in there. So this may be the one new growth that doesn't produce its spike. So as far as I'm concerned, this, this has done exactly as expected. What we should now get is a nice show of blooms and um, yeah, it should be a good show. Even if there are only a couple of blooms per spike, it should still be a good show. But I, f I think it may be staggered. Yeah, it might be a staggered blooming on the grounds that obviously these are going to be the first to open, however many they are, followed by those and progressively down to either new growth that haven't started their spike yet or are only just starting. If those spikes are at that stage, will they catch this one up? Well, we'll have to wait and see. And it may be that this will still be in bloom for the next update, but if it isn't, I'll still do a short clip to include, yeah, so that we don't we don't miss out basically by it blooming in between the two updates. So that's that one. Okay, the big Miltonia has has done as it's as expected, but has a trifle worry. There is a little worry with this. Um, all of the new growths push their spikes on, but some of the spikes are not strong. Um, now you'll notice some of the spikes, like this one's only got one bud, it did have another one. This one has got one, it did have another one. And where those another ones have gone missing, they, were, they had quite a bad attack of mealybugs. And um, they'd bitten into the buds and everything like that. And I'm hoping that that is the reason for the next thing I want to look at, which is a bloom one that looks like that and another one that looks like that. So that bloom there has got no lip. Yeah? <laughs> and the two petals are virtually non-existent. This would have been the bud, the three sepals, and it has no content. So that's really, really badly distorted. And this one is sort of similar it hasn't formed properly. Now I'm hoping this is a consequence of the, the mealy bugs biting into it. They went unnoticed, that's the problem. You know, the buds are a pale colour, you know, and the mealy bugs were just hiding. So I've dealt with them. I mean, some, some of the blooms have formed fine. You know, some of the blooms are okay. This one's even starting to fade. So we did get nice blooms, and we did get what the progress on the plant that I wanted. Um, which was for the spikes to develop and bloom and I was hoping that they would be in bloom for this particular update and they are, that's good. They certainly won't still be around in November, that's for sure. So um, yeah, we'll, have, we'll take a good look at the blooms on here because they are, they are very, very attractive. They're a lovely colour, they're a good shape, good form, lovely veining on the lip. So um, I like, you know, this, this to me is well worth growing, even though it's rather large. Um, this will be the end of it in this pot. It's now reached the ed edge of the pot everywhere you look. And it's also been in the pot plenty long enough now that this bark needs replacing. So once the blooming's over and we start seeing the new growth form, it'll come out of the pot. These old parts in the centre down here they'll probably just get discarded. These are the really old bulbs. And um, we'll, we'll do like we did with the um, Spectabilis. We will pick an old bulb with a new growth on it, or, it, or in this case, it'll be an old, these will be the old bulbs by then. Hopefully two new growths, a new growth on each, and we'll keep the back bulb. So that's the type of thing we'll probably be doing, is, 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 is taking it back taking it back to its basics, separating it into individual units and potting them up in, in what will be a communal pot. So that will be the workload for this one, but that probably won't be happening until probably late winter, early spring. And we'll see how the plant goes. It may start its new growth early. And um, I mean, I don't take much notice of the time of year, I'm afraid. If, if the new growth start producing the new root system, the new root system needs to go in the new media, not in the old media or hanging over the edge of the pot. So whatever time of year that happens, that's when it will be done. Okay, that's that one. 
So here we are then, this is the, um, the plant at the end of the growing season and this one lends itself nicely to fit in as you'd expect within a growing season. New growth start early in the year, progress, mature, produce spikes, bloom and then effectively the plant goes dormant for a bit, it rests. Um, which means that during that period it won't need much water and certainly doesn't need much feed until it starts to grow again. So that's what this one's doing. This one opened its first bloom on its first spike, <coughs> excuse me, on the 20th of the 8th. And I cut the last spike off on the 20th of the 11th. Now each spike doesn't last that long, but this produced a set of staggered spikes. So it was in bloom literally for three months. So uh, good value for money, as I say. Um, and looking at the plant now, what we've got is the older pseudo bulbs, most of which have dropped their leaves. This year's growths, which are still leaved and are currently dormant, and those were the ones that had all the spikes. So in the main, what we've got is a bulb with two new growths, both of which bloomed virtually across the board. Some very old bulbs in the middle of the plant that are no longer wanted. And again, old bulb, two growths. So where we have these old bulbs, and in this case, three new growths on this bulb, yes, you can see that one slightly larger than the others, produce three new growths. So what I will be doing when I repot this is disconnecting from this point behind the bulb. So the center piece of the plant will be discarded and I'll end up with one, two, three, four. Four pieces, all of which have got a minimum of two new growths, which have matured. So that process will wait until the new growth start and not just the new growths, the new growths with signs of new roots. And at that point, I'll split the plant up and repot those pieces, again, in a wide pot, centrally, so that there's plenty of room for the new growths that are growing, and hopefully enough room for the next lot. So a two-year cycle of splitting up and repotting. So that's how I want to play these. I've got three of these Miltonia types. They're all roughly the same size. They all grow in exactly the same way. So they can all be treated the same way, basically. So there we go. That one's um, done exactly as predicted this year. And hopefully it will go on and do exactly as predicted next year, which is produce some nice growths, get some new roots going, and not be allowed to bloom. I'll miss a year. Yeah? and that's, that's how I want to play with these. So they'll bloom two consecutive years and then have a rest from blooming. And the repotting comes in, as I've said. So there we go, that's that one. So there we go then, that was plant number five, um, Miltonia, which is um, one of the members of the Oncidium Alliance. They grow very similar to Oncidiums, effectively. Um, although paler in color, generally. Um, yeah, so that plant made it and um, it will get split and repotted at a suitable point and probably just be grown on next year without being allowed to bloom to build up a nice set of individual plants in a single pot. That's what I normally do with the Miltonias. It's just the way they grow. They're out of the pot so quickly because they're quite vigorous. Anyway, there we go. That was plant number five. Um, four more to go and they, they will follow on in quite quick succession because uh, I, did, I did say because I'm doing nine separate videos instead of three for the final look that obviously it's going to run out of November and on into December. That, that's not a problem um, but I don't want them you know <laughs> still carrying on after Christmas let's put it that way. Anyway see you next time thanks for dropping by.